Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Ferton Bus Coach Simulator. We're back in Salzburg today. We spend a lot of time in Salzburg, don't we? But yes, today we are here on this glorious sunny afternoon and we're going to be travelling over to Innsbruck. Now I thought that the Swiss and the Austrian DLC came in two halves. You've got the, uh, the Swiss over here and the Austrian over here. But it turns out that you do actually. I've missed Innsbruck in the bottom. Uh, missed Innsbruck in the bottom, ooh uh, But yes, I've missed Innsbruck down here, so we can actually drive from Salzburg to Innsbruck. Now, the route that is quicker is saying to go this way, but I thought that we'd go this way today. I'm going to ignore the sat-nav because that looks like it's going to be horrendous. So I thought we'd, uh, we'd, we'd take a trip over to Innsbruck. Uh, it's hopefully not going to be too much of a long video today. I know that the one via Graz the other day was quite a long video. Uh, I'm going to try and keep them in bite-sized chunks on our journey across. I must give another shout out to Bartez the man, who seems to be the resident firm bus expert. He was very kind and donated the money to purchase this add-on, so of course he does get a little shout out at the start. Very kind of you, thank you. And if you want to do the same, you can do so by clicking the link below. Now we're going to be using the Scania Touring today, and I couldn't find any nice liveries on the workshop. Uh, so if you can please, if you if you make liveries, go go make some nice liveries. Uh, I, I, so we're just using this basic Flixbus green livery with no black front like we did in the last time. Uh, now let's get people checked in so that we can get on the move. You know, uh, we don't like to hang around at these places. I'm sure that Salzburg is absolutely lovely, but we, we want to leave. Oh, Amsterdam. No, not, not with us, love. Sorry. Come on. Oh, Lucerne. No, he's heading the... Uh, oh, you're heading the right way for Lucerne. I can hear an ICE shutting its doors. That's brilliant. I like the, uh, the ambient sounds around the station. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Okie dokie, let's see, can we can we get a... Well, you're in the way now, Mr. Policeman. Let's uh, let's have a... Oh, now now you're in the way. We'll get a picture before we set off. Commemorative photo. Just in case we, uh, you know, just in case we don't get a chance en route. And my tyre is on the kerb. That's absolutely atrocious. Right, off we go. And, uh, and another little hint that I got from... Uh, that as the man um, was to turn the ambient sounds, not the ambient sounds, you, no, 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 not ambient sounds. If we go into the settings menu, audio, and uh, these three little lines here for advanced options, he said if we turn the retarder down, we will be able to hear uh, the, uh, the engine sounds a little bit more. So I've got that turned down to 20, and uh, we shall see if we get on with it any better. Uh, the Scania Touring is not my particular favourite coach to drive on this game. Uh, for many reasons, I, I think it sounds very similar, uh, almost as if they've recycled the sounds. Oh, for Christ's sake. There we go, Wi-Fi passwords on. Almost as if they've recycled the sounds uh, for The Bus, uh, the game called The Bus, which you could check out if you've not already. I do have a couple of videos on that. But yeah, it's almost as if they've used the same sounds. Oh, it's this gorgeous Salzburg roundabout, isn't it? Oof. Lovely. Very nice indeed. We, we love that roundabout. We like visiting Salzburg. One day I shall go there in real life when COVID uh, allows me to... Whoops, pull the chair up a little bit further to the PC so we know what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, when COVID allows... One day I shall visit this place, and I hope that that roundabout is there. It's brought me many, many hours of happy driving on firm bus, has that roundabout in Salzburg. Oh, and another. Oh, it's like Milton Keynes, isn't it? City of roundabouts. I should, uh, should now apologise to anyone watching who was in Salzburg. For, uh, for for daring to compare your glorious city to Milton Keynes. Wait, there we go. Right, we'll, uh, we'll just get a get a bit of that. Problem is the mirror's in the wrong place. It's too high up. So the uh, the the default driving position on this is uh, it's looking down, isn't it? So you can't really see the mirror when you turn in a corner. Nope. So much just blown up.
Right, so oh, look at those mountains, absolutely beautiful. So let's just confirm with the map. So the map is telling us to go right. There we go. We don't want to do that because that's just motorway. Who wants motorway? So we're going to go left down the Route 10. And, uh, and then we're going to come off and go over there. And uh, the, the woman in the sat-nav, there's no woman in this sat-nav. But I imagine she'd be saying, when safe, perform a U-turn as we're hurtling down the road. You know what they're like. Turn around when it is safe to do so. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Can't be doing with any of that. It certainly is improved when you can uh, when you can actually hear the engine sounds as opposed to just constant retarder over the top. I mean, I, I like the retarder on this game. I like the fact that it's you know that the coaches have them adds to the realism. But it is really nice to be able to hear the uh, to be able to hear the engine sounds. So yeah, I might try that with a few of my other coaches. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming Bartes, the man, would be watching. Can you recommend, or can anybody recommend any other coaches that would benefit from having the sound settings? fiddled about with. Oh, look at that. Oh, colleague. Hello, colleague. And I think that they've got the same livery as I have, haven't they? The, just the green, plain green at the front. And, uh, way. God, it's like Nemesis. It's Alton Towers, this, isn't it? Too. All over the shop. Let's get our foot down. We need to get our foot down, really, don't we, on this way, because uh, we're not taking the quickest route. I think this is the first time ever on Firm Bus Coach Simulator that I've actually dared to be rebellious and, uh, and go a different route to where the sat-nav says. I don't really know what's, uh, what's waiting for me at the other end. A crowd of angry people. But this is a scenic route. Yeah, the Scania Touring we're using, as well as the Scania Touring 121, which, uh, ah, far good, far good. And I'm absolutely certain, as I've said with the, with the bus, I'm sure that that noise is the exact same horn effects that we have on the Hitachi 801 for Train Simulator. Absolutely certain of it, I'd be willing to put money on it. Oh, bloody hell, right, 80. Right, we'll, uh, we'll just tuck in here. Sorry, Mr. Lorry, I've just cut you up, but needs must. I don't quite know what's going on with the shadows. I feel kind of like I'm having some sort of epileptic fit with the... I, I'm assuming they're meant to do that. It's probably because of where, you know, there's the... You can see the lights, isn't there, and the shadows are meant to be... I, I can't help but thinking they wouldn't quite be quite as violent in real life. They're, they're very violent shadows, aren't they? Right, there we go. Out of the 80 now. Get our foot down again. Is our colleague behind us in the mirror? Yes, right behind us, thinking, why on earth did you overtake if you're going to sit and hold us up? So we're coming off here, so we literally can't go on. This is where the world ends. Yep, the world ends here. Off we get. Very kindly pointed out. I wonder if there's an option to turn off those irritating arrows. I, uh, you know, I, I prefer them not to be there. I can read the minimap in the corner myself. There probably is. I've, I've not explored the option, to be honest with you. I'll, uh, I'll have to look at that. Yeah, you see, I, I just, I'd rather they weren't there. I kind of feel they spoil the mood a little bit. 
you know, this glorious scenery. Oh, sorry, Mr. TT. Yeah, I can understand why you want to get past me, because uh, this mountain pass road, you don't want to be... Oh, it's raining. Oh, well, there we go. The dynamic weather being as dynamic as usual. Not a cloud in the sky, but it's hurling it down. Yes. Better, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, we can park there. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, uh, next time we drive down this road, we might park up. Let's see, can we get a... Uh... Oh, hang on. No! Right, well, no. Photograph later. You know what it's like when you photograph while you're driving. It never ends well. Oh, but this bridge is so pretty. It's going to be a disaster. We're going to go careering off the canyon. Oh, that's a good shot. Right. No more photographs now while we're moving, please. Thank you. Oh, but look how nice this is. Oh, this is this is hellfire. I particularly like the fact that it's absolutely bombing it down. It just adds to that. I mean, look at the graphics on that. The shine off the road is wonderful. Uh, it's just... I really do wish that Fernbus had the physics of OMSI because, do you know what, this would be such a good game if the physics were just that smidgen better. Um, I, I really feel if they'd let third parties develop for for this game, it, oh, it would just be such a spectacular game. The Intel. Ooh. I also wonder, you know, Fernbus, come on, crack on, let's get a UK add-on, which comes with, like, a, a, a UK, like, map. Let's get a UK add-on with a UK map and a Sateno Levant. Ooh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Sateno Levant in Flixbus livery. Yeah, you see, you, you, you could do that, couldn't you, if we, yeah, there you go. You, you, England, you can see it there. We've got a France add-on. I've not got the France add-on, but there is a France add-on. So yeah, get England made. England and Scotland. I'd pay money for that. And a Sateno Levant add-on to, uh, you know, to boot as well. That'd be fantastic. The only problem is, is I, I kind of thought that this mountain pass road would be absolutely exquisite views. But uh, I guess they're, they're quite nice, aren't they? It's going to say that the views are kind of spoiled by the the mist and the cloud and the you know the all the all the things that are yeah spoiling it. Oh, there's another parking spot there. Hello, colleagues. Oop, there's the, yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of bit of overlapping from the from the path there, just overlapping the road. Hell, take that corner fast. I'm sure the phrase is "break before the bend," not on it. That's uh, that's an example of how not to do it there. Right, what do we have down here? Well, let's get breaking. Let's have, let's consult the map. I'm sure that you've just run a red light. What What is this? I don't know what that is. We're, we're not venturing up there because we don't know what's up there. Whoa! Oh, slam on. Whoa, you nearly ran through the red light there. And in true Scania fashion, the engine sounds rough as, uh, rough as some old boot. Could strike a match on that engine, couldn't you? It's that rough. I don't know what it is about Scania, is it? It's, it's just seems to be like the people at Scania. Oh, we, we must build 
a bus or a coach and we must make the engine sound like it's 40 years old and about to drop in bits at any given moment. You know, compared to like the Volvo B7 RLEs, the Scania L94UBs sound absolutely knackered. I mean, to be fair, now probably most of them are, but yeah, even in Germany when you go on the Scania Citywides, the engines just sound absolutely bollocksed. I don't know what it is about Scania, they just can't make a smooth sounding engine. And I'm happy to be proved wrong, but from my experience, everything that's Scania just sounds like it's on its way to the knacker's yard. This is a good bit of road, isn't it? Nice straight bit. Oh, there's Lesco. I don't honestly know, do, do they have, like, I mean obviously that's meant to be Tesco. Oh, I should perhaps have stopped there, but I didn't, so never mind. Obviously that's meant to be Tesco, isn't it? Do, do they have Tesco in Austria? <laughs> Didn't know they did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay. We'll, we'll roll with that. Where's that? Gina Ting? I don't know. I don't know where that was. Right, 50 mile an hour has gone. Off we go. Foot down. Go, go, go. There'll be a lot of cars behind us, I imagine. Oh, there's not. Oh, well, pleasantly surprised there. I thought there would be. Now, do you reckon this kind of windy, windy bit down here is us going up a hill or down a hill? I reckon it's probably up. I kind of have the... I've, again, never been to Innsbruck, but I get this kind of feeling it's going to be up on a cliff. Oh, the land intersecting the road again there. Oh dear. That's, uh, I wonder if you could drive up there. Hmm. Maybe that's something we need to explore at a later date. Yes, we're going up a hill. There we go. Purely, uh, I'm, I'm completely basing this knowledge from, if you remember, Microsoft Train Simulator came with the Innsbruck to St. Anton route, and, uh, and, and that was very hilly with a steam train. Uh, it was particularly difficult, difficult to do. Oh, I much prefer going uphill with these snaky roads. I, I find the, the bus is a lot easier to control. Wait. Yeah, the, the coach is a lot easier to control when we're going uphill. I always find that, that this is a very interesting sign, isn't it? Danger falling rocks. I mean, we, we get them in England. When I was driving over to, uh, oh, where was it now? It was somewhere on the Hope Valley. We, we were driving down the high cliffs either side. and Danger falling rocks. And you're like, well, that's all well and good, warning you that there's falling rocks. You know, but but what are you meant to do? Do you do you speed up if there's falling rocks? Do you slow down? What what, what do you do? Ooh, serpentine achievement unlocked. Yeah, what what are you meant to do? Speed up or slow down? <laughs> you just don't know, do you? See, I I really like the fact that you, I, I like the fact that we get achievements when we've been on these roads. It makes me feel like, you know, I've achieved something. I have very little achievements in my life. And it's nice to know that I am, you know, it's nice to always be given that false sense of, like, yay, I'm good at something by a game. But what I absolutely would like, I want this to be like Euro Truck Simulator 2. I want to see which roads I've driven on. You know, I want to see it like on Forza Horizon 4 as well. You know, what roads have I driven on? What roads do I need to drive on? That's one thing that I really does uh, that really does bug me about Fernbus, is that you ca I can't remember where I've been. You can remember what towns and cities you've visited, because in career mode they've not got little padlocks on them anymore. But... Right, let's have a look. That, that might be a good, good photo opportunity there. Lovely. We'll, we'll assess which one's the best. But yeah, I want to be able to see what routes I've been on. Because I can't remember. Oh, hang on. The steering went very light then on the steering wheel. Are we sliding round the corner? 
Oh, they're not advisable on such a, a steep mountain gradient. Oh, that sounds like we've just hit something. Perhaps take that corner a little wider next time, Joe. Come on, foot down, foot down. Go, go, go. We'll, we'll just take it a little bit wider. There we go, there was nobody coming. Well, there was, but he had to break, didn't he? So there we go, we've come from down in the valley. Now we're just continuing on like that never happened. It's a it's a very uh, you see roads like that quite a bit, don't you? And uh, you don't tend to see them in England. We don't really have mountains that require such roads. Wait, oh, hang on, slow down there for that corner. Yeah, we don't really have mountains that require such roads in uh, in England. But yeah, they uh, you, it's quite a common sight abroad, isn't it? The one that I really don't like is on tourist bus simulator. There's one like that that goes down to like some resort, but the roads are just so tight. You just even in that little Toyota BB40 minibus thing, it's ridiculous. You know, at least give us some sort of hope of getting down the hill or back up the hill. I always end up crashing, and then you have to make repairs to your coach on tourist bus sim, don't you? I mean, isn't this pretty? I know that it's it's not perfect, is it? You know, we've seen the the kind of the paths that are poking through the roads at times, and you know, it's it's by no means perfect, but by God, it's a pretty DLC. Very pretty DLC indeed. I recommend it. You know, I really do. I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description to the DLC. Check it out if you. Uh, you know, if you if you want to, uh, well, if you if you've been watching this and think, Do you know what, I'd like to drive along there. I reckon I could get up that uh, that snaky hill without twatting the coach on uh, on the side. Yeah, I reckon I could do that. Joe can't, but I reckon I could. Uh, but yeah, I, I would. Uh, I post a. I shall post a link. There we go, English professor. Uh, I shall post a link in the description to that, and uh, and you can go check it out. Oh, squeaky, uh, squeaky blinds, squeaky wipers, squeaky wipers. That sounds a bit like a television show. Or maybe I'm thinking of Peaky Blinders. That that might be it. Squeaky wipers could be an excellent rom-com, couldn't it? I mean, to be fair, squeaky wipers could be a porno. Let's uh, yeah. Let, let's just put the brakes on that idea before we before we think too much into that. Isn't the Australian Australian Austrian? Isn't the Austrian scenery wonderful? There we go. You've forgotten all about squeaky wipers now. Oh no, we're back on squeaky wipers. Oh, for goodness sake! Look at the Austrian scenery again. Oh, how wonderful is this? Dear me. Need to stop being so immature. I'm quite impressed that we're doing 90 kilometers an hour down here to be honest with you. I thought that we'd uh, 
would be stuck behind someone. Usually I find on, on the roads near my house, you're always stuck behind someone in a 50 mile an hour zone that's doing like 28 for no reason. And you're like, get a move on. I thought that this would be the case on Fernbus, but it seems that the Austrians are all very good at driving over mountains. I guess that they've had enough practice, haven't they? So let's have a look, quick consult of the map. Where actually are we? Oh, right, we are actually here. Oh, well, we're not far away. Oh, wasn't that far more interesting than going on the motorway the whole way? Of course it was. We might have to do that more often, you know. Pick the scenic route as opposed to the motorway route. There we go. Oh, there's somebody coming. Right, we'll, we'll stop there. Well, I'm pretty sure yours says stop as well, but there we go. Well, uh, you know what the firm bus AI can be like sometimes. We should just be glad he didn't hit us. Is the, uh, is the rain subsiding? It looks like it is. I like the fact though, despite the fact the rain is stopping, the roads are still wet. That's a, a nice feature. And it's still quite overcast, isn't it? Maybe the rain was just in the mountains. It's probably because I complained, not last time, but the time before, saying, oh, this dynamic weather's just been sunny the whole time. So now it's probably on a mission to be like, oh, yeah, you, uh, you said sunny all the time, so we shall make sure it's not sunny all the time. And the roads appear to be the roads burn dry all of a sudden again. Oh no, not not quite. It's still shimmering a little bit. I thought we may as well just stay behind this car now. We've not got long to go, have we? There's no point overtaking. Oh, the sun's shining through. It's a shame there's no like little rainbow over the top. Nope. That will uh, we'll have to scroll the blind down, but it's too far up there, isn't it? We're not going to be able to see, are we now? Oh, the shadows are dancing round again. Oh, hang on. Let's just take it steady, because I have a feeling this guy's going to slam on. Oh, I like how the sun does that through the... Uh, you know, through through the gaps in the... I, I don't know what you call these things. They have them quite a bit, don't they, abroad? To basically stop any sort of landslide falling on the road. I, I think that that's what they're for. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. How effective they'd be, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I, I quite enjoy how the sun just kind of keeps flashing, flickering through the gaps. And in the trees as well. That's, oh, look at that. That sun's... The rays of the sun. It's just lovely. Going down the house fart. And, uh, oh, spontaneous roundabout. Yes, please. Oh, look at that. That is a roundabout. But you can only beg the question, where do you go? Where does that road go? Uh, ah, right, okay. It just comes off the motorway. Ah. Oh, we like Innsbruck. Sorry, I should have been indicating out. It's too busy enjoying the roundabout. Oh, look at this. This is just spectacular. And the sun has come out just for us.
we probably have to slow down now because we're coming into Innsbruck. We'll, uh, it'll be about 50, won't it? It's normally 50 kilometers. Oh, wow. This is just absolutely lovely. Nope. Except somebody's, uh, yeah, the police are here. Light accident? With who? Have you literally driven into the side of me? That wasn't very kind. I think you'll find you give way to people on the roundabout. What have I pressed now? I've pressed something to get uh, to get all that nonsense up the side. Oh, there we go. Tab. Right. Nope, now I can't get the damn things off. I just want rid of that. Ah, there we go. Right, okay. Right, we're back to normal. Yeah, Q does the minimap, doesn't it? There. God, we nearly had a disaster there, didn't we? Right, come on. Chop, chop. So we're turning right into here. I can't believe that person spot. That was a perfect journey with no accidents except for the accidents. Can't believe that person crashed into the side of us. That's devastating. Hell, it gets dark early. It gets dark quickly. There we go, Innsbruck. Handbrake on, engine off, doors open. So there we go, that is Salzburg to Innsbruck. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely, absolutely lovely, isn't it? That, that mountain in the background. Let's, let's just take a picture. Oh, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, that is Salzburg 2 Innsbruck on Thurnbus Coach Simulator, and that's where we're going to finish today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then do, of course, click that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you never miss out on any of this fabulous Thurnbus action. Until next time, cheerio, and goodbye for now.